Why the demand for real estate licenses may soon fall into a sinkhole. I'm Bob Stokes with Elliott Wave International. A lot of people who've lost jobs have turned to getting their real estate licenses as a path to prosperity. Part of the mindset that selling houses is worth a try is the belief that prices go up most of the time. As the Wall Street Journal noted on March 21st, surging prices are persuading tens of thousands more Americans to try their hands at selling real estate. There have been many other periods of time when home prices have trended higher. However, that's not always the case. As you know, home prices sank significantly following the subprime mortgage meltdown of nearly a decade and a half ago. But after that bear market in real estate bottomed, the number of those getting their real estate licenses climbed to new heights. Yet the pace is now slowing. This chart and commentary from our May Elliott Way financial forecast provide insight. This chart shows the long rise of licensed real estate agents. By this measure, the rise of the great American dream can be traced all the way back to the beginning of the last century. The first two waves into the 1920s and the third wave through the inflationary 1970s were quite robust. In percentage terms, the fifth and final wave of the advance from 1983 is more muted. But the inset shows that in nominal terms, it traces out five waves. Remember, when a fifth wave is complete, expect to turn in the opposite direction. The question is, is the trend and the demand for real estate licenses coinciding with the trend in the price of homes? You are encouraged to read the May Elliott Way financial forecast for insight into home sales and prices, plus get our analysis of stocks. The stock market is relevant to real estate because financial history shows that stock prices and housing prices tend to be closely correlated. Follow the link below this video to gain instant access to our flagship investor package so you can prepare for what may be just ahead.